was Cantates Five candies And three chocolates So Back in the room It's all Four boxes To some of the people So how many candies and how many chocolates we get Let's find out Using the distributive property Let's see Roger has Four boxes And then four boxes He has Five candies And three chocolates has four boxes. Roger has four boxes. It contains five candies and three chocolates. It is not that four boxes contains only five candies and five, three chocolates. Each box contains five candies and three chocolates. So we need to find out the number of candies and chocolates how many it has. So property so this all the four boxes contains all the four boxes contains five and this and three chocolates that's the reason this four boxes common they have in common of this having five and this and three chocolates that's the reason we have taken bracket for that so what we understood here each box contains five and this and three chocolates each box contains five candies and three chocolates. So four into some of the number. Four into four into five candies. So four into three candies. So together we get it. How many chocolates and candies together we have it? So four into five plus three candies. So five candies and three chocolates. So here four boxes. 4 into that is 5 plus 3 so 4 is 4 boxes contains each box contains 5 chocolates so, sorry 5 candies so 4 into 5 so in all the 4 boxes we have in each box we have 5 candies that is the reason we multiply with 5 so in all 4 boxes we have chocolates so 4 into 3 4 into 5 and together we need to find out how many things together we need to find out how many things are there in the box or the 4 boxes so 4 into 5 is 20 and 4 into 3 is 12 so 32 so total together in 4 boxes 32 items are there together candies and chocolates this is the rule of distributive property let's take an example we take I mean three whole numbers three four five and we take the group of two whole numbers we have taken the group of two whole numbers four and five we added them and uh, we have another whole number outside. This is multiplying with the group of other two numbers. Taken the three whole numbers, and we have taken two whole numbers as a group, two whole numbers as a group, and other whole number is multiplying with the other group of the numbers. So three into four plus five is three is multiplied with group of these two numbers. So this can be written as 3 into 4. This 3 is belongs to the 4 and 3 also belongs to the 5. So 3 times of 4, 3 times of 4 and 3 times of 5. So together we need to take so add some. So let us find out this both are equal or not. So, so 3 into 4 plus 5. 9 so 3 to 9 is 27 we got the value of 27 using the distributive property we distributed 3 among 4 and 5 let us see 3 4 are 12 plus 3 
5 and 50 and then we will be getting here 27 so what we understood both the sides we got the same value so this is the distributed and 3 is distributed along 4 and 5 the distributed property multiplication over addition multiplication over addition it is let us take multiplication over subtraction let us see how it happens One into two plus three is equal to one into two plus one into three. For the same example, we'll take it for the subtraction. This is for addition. Let's see for the subtraction. One into two minus three is equal to one into two. Minus 1 into 3 is 1 is distributed to 2 and 3. So let us see. Let us verify this one. Multiplication over subtraction. Multiplication over subtraction. So 1 is the same. 2 2 minus 1 is 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. So 1 into 2 is 2. Minus 1 to 3 is 3, so 2 minus 3 is minus 1, so we got minus 1 on both the sides, so the value is equal, so this is multiplication over subtraction. So up to now we have learned distributed property, multiplication over addition, and multiplication over subtraction. Representation of whole numbers on number line. We can represent whole numbers on the number line. Let's draw a straight line. What is straight line? Let's take a point and give it as O and mark some of the points which are equidistant to each other. These are the points we have taken. We mark some of the points here. Equal distance to each other is O. Let's take some other name A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. We have taken those O and we draw the equal distance to each other. O A is equal to A B, A B is equal to B C, and so on. The equal distance to each other. So, here, let us take OA is equal to 1 unit. If OA is equal to 1 unit, then OB will be OB is equal to OA plus AB. OA plus AB. So, OA is, we know that we have to get 1. So, plus OB. OA is 1. AB is also one unit because we have drawn, we have marked the same distance of OA, AB. That is the reason this is also one. So one plus one is two. Let's take the next one. OB after is final OC. OC is equals to OC is equals to OA plus AB plus BC. OA plus AB plus BC. So we know that OA is 1 plus 1 plus 1. So BC is also 1 because we have taken all the distance between the points. So this is 3. Next one we see after OB. That is OA plus OA plus B, AB plus BC plus CD. AB plus BC plus CD. These are the points 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 4. So the reason of taking 1 is they are equidistant to each other. We have drawn in that manner. So what we observe here, first one is 1, second one, to here 2, 
then you have to hear three, the second, four, and so on. So this is simply taken as nothing, zero units. And we started from there. And O A is one unit we have taken. And next O to B, that is O B is two units. And O C is three units. O to C is three units. And O to D is four units. So what we can observe here? Yeah. Total cost of books and copies is like 45 